Mm -hmm. Come back tomorrow when the, the day manager is here. You got a picture, you can explain the picture to him about how everything went down. Because you're not going to get no results right now out of the, she the only one here. She's running a store now. And it's basically what she say go. first time here and you want to know more about the latest promotions and phones at Metro Cricket and Boost, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button to be the first notified. What's up JG Nation, thank you for watching JG Tech Blog, it's your boy JG and for today's video we're finally finishing part 3 of the series that I've done before. If you haven't already seen the previous part 1 and part 2, I'm going to like them down below. Hi. How's it going? How are you? Good. Uh, you're the manager here? Yes. Okay. How can I help? And this is being recorded. So you let you know. Yeah, so they told you already what happened? Right. Yeah. Right. And I and I apologize for any okay. inconvenience to uh in no way we were trying to make you feel bad or, or denying service. Metro requests uh what information to pull the over. The account number and the pin. Mm -hmm. Uh the phone be bring in the phone or the statement it's not required, but we try to do that to prevent fraud. Exactly. Because you, you can understand that a lot of people might come in and you know be just wanting to get the phones to resell them or whatever the case exactly, is. exactly. that's the reason why we ask it's it's okay. not required but it's just you know kind of okay. like to protect the company absolutely that and makes totally total right. sense right yes. uh -huh. uh, so the prerequisites are usually the account number and the pin number uh, but just to be verified that that person is not taking advantage of the right, exactly. and, and stuff like that uh, or you know so you would also sometimes request not required uh, statements or uh, the phone or right. yes Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. And then yeah, the other yeah. thing was would be that if you know, as you said, at least when I showed you proof, right, and I and I showed her proof that look, I opened my account on Boost since 2017 July. That's way over a year, right? At that point, you should tell like, okay, this is not somebody that's just porting over from you know account to account, like you're saying to avoid fraud. This is an actual customer coming in from a different carrier who's trying to pull over and take advantage of the you know promotions that you guys are providing. No simple as that. But for you then to ask for, oh, I need your old phone, you have to have it. Even when I had the phone, they still refused me service. It was basically saying like, I don't like you because of who you are. I don't want to do service no, no, to you. Not at all. Uh, usually prepaid carriers, don't, they don't like send out, like they don't have Ryan's and T-Mobile and all these right. other carriers, they send it monthly. Mm -hmm. You guys, prepaid carriers, don't do that. And that what lowers right. the cost, you know, exactly. for them so they can right. give these amazing plans, right? Right. Yeah, so I was requested a six-month statement and I was requested a phone. Well, I watched the video and, yeah. and it was never said that they, they, they wanted six months. Did you watch the second video? Okay. Do you have to verify that the account's been active with them for over six months? Okay. Yes, yeah, I did. The second video, they requested. I, I, I never months. heard uh, one of my employees ask for some, but but that's yeah. fine. If, if, yeah. if you said that's what they ask you yeah. for, that was that was that was what was requested. There was no statements that happened to that. She said I can do that online. Mm -hmm. So once I provided that online as proof, would that have been sufficient proof? Well, when, the, I, when I showed her right, online, yes. right, right, I still was refused service even then. I even refused, refused service. She's like, okay, now I need you to give me your phone <laughs> and then to also give me your ID. Right. You see what I'm saying? No, no, I understand what you're saying, and at this point, uh, all I can really do is apologize. Yeah. Okay. If you still want to port over to us, you're more than welcome. Okay. If you have your information with you, I can show you some of our phones. Gotcha. I truly apologize yeah. for the situation. I understand it's your employee and she's running under me, but you won't just lie on her behalf. And I really appreciate that, that you're being honest with me. I really do. But if you can at least... You know, speak to your employees and let them know their procedures should be which should be yes. done properly. Yeah, yeah. And, sure. uh, like everybody knows what what is required, what is yeah. not required, and the reason why we're asking yeah, for it. Exactly. And yeah. it's not discriminating nobody. Yeah. Don't feel that way, please. Yeah, I think just Metro has to add this like, to put you in the situation. Like right? they just put the, on their website everything that they need, and you can prove it. Like that's right. what the company. Requires. Right. I'm using the video. I didn't think that was the right way to explain it, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Have a good day. All right, guys. So as you can see in the video, again, the manager was really polite and I really appreciated the way she handled the situation. She actually owned up to the employee's mistake. They're not mandatory requirements. So it didn't have to go that way and it could have been explained at the same time and in a better way. Previously, to before going to this store, I actually went to a different store to see if they had the same requirements and I actually got the phones. 
I have that video also linked down below if you guys want to watch how easy and smooth that transaction went. This is not all Metro by T-Mobile. Again, Metro by T-Mobile does some great stuff and gives some great promotions. These situations happen at certain stores with certain employees that you just need to be taught a little bit more on their procedures and ways to handle customers. And if you want an example of that, click here on the card and it will take you to that video. If you have any questions, leave it down below. See you guys in the next one. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification button to be notified when I upload more videos. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one.